Hi, and welcome to Tea with the Fertility Godmother. Today we're going to be speak, talking to you a little bit about unexplained infertility. I'm Denise Neuro-Rez, and what I get to do is help couples get their bodies as healthy as possible. So not only can it increase their chances of getting pregnant, but having a healthy baby. And uh, today, unexplained infertility is going to be our talk. So if you uh, have any comments or questions, please make sure to um, type it below so that I can answer them for you here live. Or even if you're watching this recording, I'm happy to help you um, as well. Sometimes we get a lot of messages after and I really do my best to answer them for you. So hello and welcome. Um, so unexplained infertility. What is unexplained infertility? Kind of says it all in the diagnosis, right? So it's like the best diagnosis and the worst diagnosis at the same time. The best because there's nothing wrong and the worst because there's nothing wrong, right? So I know um, a lot of couples really struggle with this because then it's like, well, you're kind of left in the air. Like, what, what can you do? What can be done? Why aren't we getting pregnant? And um, I want to say that this is one of the places where Chinese medicine is like phenomenal. I, I love treating, this is one of the places that um, I love treating couples because I almost, I feel so confident that they're going to get pregnant if they do the steps that I recommend and they come in. And so what we do is um, we do acupuncture and Chinese herbs to help correct those, what we call underlying conditions and what an underlying condition is are, is things that you know that can't be tested in western medicine so you had your hsg your histocalpingogram and everything looks good your ovaries look good and functioning right your hormones look good um your uterus looks good the sperm um analysis looks great or looks really good and you guys can't figure out what's going on there's nothing technically wrong you know the timing is good everything is good right so what do you look at what do you do and this is an area where um, Chinese medicine is is amazing and I again I just feel like when I see somebody with an unexplained infertility it's one of those areas where I'm like okay I you know you're gonna get pregnant and um, you just need to find those underlying imbalances so what are some of those underlying imbalances well you really want to start looking uh, and paying attention to what your body is telling you because your body is constantly giving you clues to what's going on with your health. And one thing that's really vital is your menstrual cycle. So your menstrual cycle is really important uh, to, and it, it'll give you a ton of clues uh, with, and what you should be looking at. So are you regular? You know, how many days are you bleeding? What color is your blood? Are you having pain? Um, how much blood do you have? Like all these are really different um, areas of what's going on in your body. How is your sleep at night? Are you sleeping well? Are you getting at least seven hours of sleep? Um, especially with guys and how are you managing your stress? You know, are you exercising? Like what is your body telling you? Do you feel drained and tired? Do you need to add movement into your, into your world? Or do you need to add, you know, a really good night's sleep and disconnect from the this thing here um <clears throat> like what what are what are what's going on in your body and it's really important to reconnect and get and become more mindful of how of, of these signs and symptoms even things like your digestion like what's going on with your digestion are you um having a bowel movement every day and then how does that look is it hard or is it normal um are you able to eat a full meal and feel nourished or do you feel like really tired after you eat or are you just have no appetite these are all different signs of your like something's going on that even though you're you think you're healthy they just need to be tweaked a little bit um how you manage stress so listen our bodies are like amazing they're so resilient um, but the thing is is when you're constantly bombarding it with too much sugar or too much stress all the time and you're not having that downtime or that recovery time whether you're constantly thinking and worrying about you know oh my god am i going to be pregnant this month and and it just is like consuming you you know and I, uh then these are all things that wear on your body 
um, they wear on your on every cell and every cell is constantly communicating with other cells and organs in your brain so that it can function at its best so what you need to do is really do your best to make some um, to take steps and moving forward and being healthy and what that looks like is you know not having like this perfect diet but 80 percent of the time you know choosing foods that are going to nourish your body and limiting the sugars and uh, eliminating sodas and making sure you're drinking enough water and there's so many different things that you can do to make sure that you're healthy <clears throat> excuse me making sure that you're um having the right temperature you're at the right temperature that's another thing we look at is are you too hot are you too cold you know are your hands and feet cold are you getting enough circulation in your body those are um those are some clues for you of what's going on so if you're too hot then you need to balance your thermostat right and cool you off a little bit so that you feel more normal or if you're too cold then you need to warm you up a little bit so this is how our medicine chinese medicine looks at it looks at the whole picture and um, it gets really great results. So acupuncture is great in helping your body communicate, help um, assist so that it can communicate with itself and um, balance it out. Because again, every cell, it's like, it's so amazing to me. Even your fat cells are communicating to your brain and to, it's just so amazing. Our bodies are so amazing. Um, you know, vagina steams, you can do these at home. You can do a, you know, get some Chinese herbs. You can, um, you want to make sure you're, you're getting them from a reliable source. So we do that in our clinic and we send Chinese herbs out. You can do them at home. You can come into our clinic and do it. Um, uh, taking some Chinese herbs, you have to be really careful if you're going to take herbs. Though. So you really want to make sure you're working with a licensed physician who knows fertility. That's really important that you do that. Uh, some of the herbs on, online are questionable. Sometimes they work and sometimes they don't. So you have to be, they may not be the right one for you. So again, just be very mindful about um, about the herbs. Um, and this, just again, paying attention to what your body's telling you. And this, again, this is an area in holistic medicine. Chinese medicine is, is what I do. And it's for lack of a better word, it's like the grandfather of holistic medicine, right? I mean, we look up the body signs and symptoms and what it's telling you, and then we correct them. And um, but it's with unexplained infertility, it's the best, uh, unless you know you're in your fifties, and I wouldn't feel comfortable telling you. Or actually, even forty-two may be a little bit difficult, but we get a lot of a lot of couples that come in, and everything looks good, and I just love treating them because I know that I can help them like really feel confident that I can help them uh, this is one of the areas that I just know is amazing so you know those are some things you can do um, some other thing you might want to check out I'm doing a, a free webinar on Thursday at 12 30 Thursday May 20 is it the 24th it's today. Yes, the 24th. Um, I'm going to be hosting a free webinar from 1230, where I'm going to be discussing some of these things of these clues that you can look at. Haley will post the link in our in our um, comment section here. And so please feel free to join me so we can dive really deep into what your body is telling you and what to look for. And just start paying attention, get in tune with yourself. You know, um, meditation is going to be a, is a great Thing for you and you don't have to do like a lot of people think meditation is I can't think of anything and I have to sit there for an hour you don't have to do that it's even 10 minutes and the breathing um, is really what's important so there's so many different avenues um there's like the calm app I really like the calm app to kind of help you get going and it's timed and it's guided um, just sitting down and breathing there's courses there's YouTubes um, you can do so many different ways of finding out um, a meditation that's going to work best for you so that you have avenues of of dealing with stress and nourishing your body um, the environment you guys the eating clean and all getting rid of all those plastics and the radiation from the phones and the microwaves and all this stuff it just accumulates which is why um, i'm such an advocate of doing gentle cleanses so that you can help get those toxins out of your body um, and you know, we, we started that fertility cleanse. Of, it's just a great way to get things moving and get rid of those toxins that build up. Because again, even though our body has a natural way of detoxifying, when you have an accumulation all the time, it gets what they call toxic load. So it builds up, right? It makes sense, doesn't it? 
So there you have it. I hope that um, it gives you some inspiration and hope for this unexplained infertility because it is such a frustrating diagnosis. And yet we really can help with help you with that. So um, please join me on my free webinar on, uh, on Thursday at 1230. And we'll see you here next week. Here's to your fertility and your health. Make it a great day.